Oh boy, Isabella. That is a serious slime problem you have going on in here. You're watching Carrie Hands. I'm telling you guys, I'm having a vision. Casita is going to fall into pieces. No way, Casita is so strong and beautiful. I don't know guys, I take Bruno pretty seriously when he's having a vision. Don't worry, if Casita falls down, I'll help build her right back up. Oh no guys, I think something's happening. We better run! Whoa, what happened? Oh no, it looks like Casita's gone. And we're all trapped inside behind these magical doors. Don't worry guys, I'll help you get out of here. I just need to find the keys. I know, maybe some carry hands magic. Oh no! That's slime, not keys! Big sister, can you help me out? Yes, I can. Hi, everybody. We're going to dig through all of this slime and see what we can find. I see something green in here. We have the green key. All right, we need to find, oh, five more keys? Let's see what we find in here. Oh, oh, we found the dark orange key. Okay, two down and four to go. Let's check over here. Here we go. Oh, we have something. We have the blue key. We just need to find three more keys, but um, I don't think there are any more keys in here. <gasps> three people will be trapped. Well, let's use the keys we have and uh, see if we can figure something out for everyone else. Okay, but how are we going to get Casita back? This is very worrisome. Let's use this dark orange key and open up Antonio's magical door. Whoa, there's slime in here. What is going on? And ah, there's a spider attached. Okay, spider, you are stuck in the slime. I am a little scared of spiders, but I am going to help you and... Ugh. There you go. Eee! You're actually pretty. Squishy and fun to play with. Whee! So we have this orange slime, but why in the world will we have slime in there? So strange. Oh, it looks like we have one of Antonio's animal friends. <laughs> and we have found Antonio. Ah, oh, thanks guys. Oh, I see you found my spider friend, my dog friend. Oh, I think there's a piece of casita in there, too. There's a piece of the house casita? There is, but we're going to need a lot more pieces than this. Well, let's try the green key next. Okay, we do talk about Bruno today. This green key matches his door, and let's see what's inside. What's behind the magical door? Whoa! More slime is just oozing right out of here, and wait a minute. Oh, boy, that's a lot of slime. Whoa, this slime has a lot of magical beads in it. Looks so shiny and amazing. Uh, there was a cookie in there. Hello! It looks like there's more food in here. A chocolate bar? Woohoo! What is going on in here, Bruno? We found a slice of cake? Yum, 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 yum! And Bruno, you have some explaining to do. I was looking into the slime and I don't know where it came from and I saw food. Okay, I was just actually hungry and I, um, snuck some food in there. It's okay, you can have food. Let's keep going though. We still have some more things in this magical door. <gasps> we have a green chimney or part of the chimney. I don't know. And this little mint. I'm so minty. Well, let's get all the slime out of here. So much slimy slime in there. Well guys, we have just one more key and it's the blue key. So let's see what's behind Maribel's magical door. Whoa, that's strange. It looks like we have some sand in there. Ooh, this sand is really fun to play with, but I wonder what it's doing inside of there. Wait a minute. Uh, Maribel, why do we have a broom? <laughs> Make that two brooms. Woohoo! A piece of casita. And you in here. Well, of course I was going to be behind my magical door, but, um, when I get nervous, I like to clean. It's a weird habit, but um, yeah, I was sweeping in there. Uh, did I hear we only have three keys? Yeah, I I'm not sure what we're going to do now. Oh, I don't know. Oh, actually, I have an idea. Louisa, you're so brave and strong and we need your help. I can do this. 
Wow, Louisa just busted right out of her door. Oh, no wonder. She's been lifting weights while she's in there. And what is all this orange foam about? Very sticky and sticks together very well. Such a pretty color. And what else do we have in here? Uh, we have a donkey. Another donkey. I guess she was keeping them safe. And me, I had no problem busting right out of there. Oh, I think we're going to need your help. I'm happy to help. And we have a piece of casita. So who else needs to be busted out of here? Me, me! Oh, I hear you, Isabella. Don't worry, I'm here to help. Kapow! Ugh. Okay, a little harder than I expected. What? Don't worry, I'll get you out. Just need to push really, really hard. Oh, Ooh, boy, Isabella. That is a serious slime problem you have going on in here. Whoa, everything's stuck in here. Wait a minute. Are you doing your makeup in here? There's lipstick in here. Wee -hee -hee -hee. Fingernail polish. <laughs> and of course, very beautiful, very colorful slime. Oh, here's another piece of casita. We're finding lots of pieces to put it back together again. And me. And yes, I have to keep my beautiful looks maintained, even if I am trapped behind a magical slimy door. Totally understand, Isabella. Louisa, there's one more magical door up here. Yes, it's me. Get me out of here. Okay, I can do this. I can. Oh, maybe not do this. Come on, Louisa, we have faith in you. You can do it. Your belief in me is everything. I can do this. I can do this. <laughs> All right, Papa, we are going to get you. We have some yellow Play-Doh in here. Wow, super, super fun. And wait a minute, what is this? Not one, but two pots of coffee. That's a lot of caffeine. And here's Peppa. I was drinking all that coffee because I thought I could just brew up a really big storm that could bust us all out of there. Now, how am I gonna brew up a storm to put Casita back together again? I don't know, but we will find a way. Yes, we will. We have one more piece of Casita. And you know what? I have an idea. Maybe we just start building Casita and hope for the best. Uh, that's your idea? It's about as good as it gets. Um, I'm not really an architect, so, uh, sorry, Casita. You're looking a little silly right now. <laughs> Spider, you're a genius! <laughs> All of these things that we found behind the magical doors are sticky and can help hold things together. So maybe if we use the slime we found, the Play-Doh we found, the sticky foam that we found, and even some of this sticky sand on the casita to hold it all together, we can slide it in front of the magical doors and... Casita, you're back! It worked, it worked, it worked! That was really unbelievable. Thank you so much, Carrie Hands. We just love Casita and we're happy to see her again. You're welcome and it goes to show if you guys just use your creativity and work together as a family, you can do anything. Casita, you're pretty amazing. I especially love my magical room. Wait a minute, did you just say you have a magical room? Yes, would you like to see it? Absolutely! Wow! Hey everybody, I'm up here. Check this out. I have a swinging bed and it's so totally awesome and whoa! <laughs> Relaxing if I don't fall out of it. Oh yeah, that's awesome. That is so cool. So before we decorate our house, let's take a look around. We have beautiful pink flowers here, some more up top, and some beautiful purple flowers over here. And I can go from my swinging bed over here and down to my staircase. And to this empty room, we need some furniture. We do need some furniture. First things first, we have this pink chandelier. We have a spot right up here on the ceiling that we can hang it from. There we go. And before we put the furniture in there, look at this wall. 
It's a beautiful flower wall now, and we can take this and twist it around, and we have another beautiful wall. They're both so beautiful. I think the purple wall was my favorite. I think it was my favorite too. Let's go ahead. Oh no, cardboard. Let's put it back on the purple side. Look, here's a beautiful purple vanity. We'll go ahead and put it right back here. And there's this beautiful purple flower chair. It goes right next to the vanity. Here's a little hairbrush that Isabella can hold. Oh, this is just perfect for brushing my long hair. And this room is so beautiful. Well, that's not all. Let's take a little walk around here. Okay, we can take a little walk right around here. Wow, the flowers, did you see that? What happens if I step right over here? The flowers bloom over here too, that is magical. What happens if I go to the front door and step right here? <gasps> the door opens right up. That's right, there's a spot right here for Isabel's feet to step and open the door. Let's see that from inside the house. Hello, everyone. Wait, 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 did you forget about me? Can I have a tour of your house? Of course, Carrie Hands. We go in through the front door. Come on, come on, let's go. I'm coming in. Whoa, my head's a little big. Woo! Just barely made it through the door. Okay, now step through the flower garden. I mean, step right here. Wow, the flowers are blooming. How about right here? Wow, that's amazing. <gasps> Look at your vanity. Yeah, it's purple and it has flowers and a butterfly on it. It's absolutely gorgeous. And hey, what's over here? Up these stairs. Oh, wait for me, wait for me. Gary Hans is my swinging garden oh, bed. I guess you already discovered it. Yes, it is absolutely heavenly oh. hey I have an idea yeah yeah I like ideas let's make purple glitter slime to match your new room oh I like that idea time for a little carry hands magic wow that's amazing yes it's amazing let's make this slime in this bowl we're going to put the whole container of purple glitter glue oh no not the cap though here we go Get all that glue in there. Ooh, so much glitter. Time for some magical liquid. Starting with about two teaspoons and then I'm going to add a little more and a little more until I have my slime. Now it's mixing time. It's already sticking together and looking pretty slimy. Looking good. So much glitter in there. Here we go onto the table. Time to knead it. Ooh, so sparkly, so pretty. Yeah, I love it. So I've been kneading it, kneading it, kneading it, and now look how awesome this slime is. So much glitter. It's super stretchy, super pokey. I just love it. And I think we'll love it even more if we add some pink stars to it. We'll just sprinkle those right in there. And we'll add these white sprinkles too. They are little hearts, so pretty. And then we just fold it right into our slime and look, it makes it even more beautiful. I can see stars and I can see hearts and all kinds of glitter. It's perfect for this beautiful garden room. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? You know it, slime time! Woohoo! So much fun jumping in the slime! I love it, I love it! I'm gonna hide under the slime. Oh, Carrie Hands, can you find me? Whoa, 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 where did she go? Surprise! No way, that looks like a slime dress. So awesome. Pretty warm and cozy, too. Did somebody say slime? Your room is so awesome, and the slime is so much fun. Woo! Isabella, you know what I love? What do you love, Mirabelle? I love slime. Ooh, you know what we should do? What? We should have a slime competition. You're on. Did somebody say slime competition? That's right, Carrie Hands. Can you help us out? Yes, I'm going to give you everything you need to make some awesome slime. We just need some Carrie Hands magic. Wow, that's 
a lot of awesome stuff. I guess we each pick out a glue? Yes, and I'm picking out this glow in the dark glue because it seems extra special, just like me. And uh, I'll take these snowflakes too. Well, uh, I guess that leaves me with the boring old white glue. But I can do some amazing things with it. <laughs> Good luck with that. It's definitely not going to glow in the dark. It may not glow in the dark, but it's going to be very, very special. Let's get this started. Okay, let's get started with Isabella Slime. First, we're going to pour in the glow in the dark glue. Here we go. Here we go. It doesn't look like much now, but once we add some activator, and then we start mixing it, we are about to form some slime. Look, it's already sticking together. I just know mine's gonna be the best. It already looks amazing, and I still have to add snowflakes. Okay, we've been mixing, mixing, mixing this slime, and now we're going to put it on the table. The next step is to knead this slime with my hand so it all sticks together and doesn't stick to me. Okay, all done kneading it and look at this slime. It doesn't stick to me. It's nice and stretchy. It already has glitter inside so it glows and snowflake time. That's right, it's time to add these beautiful iridescent snowflakes to our slime. Look how beautiful that is. Clearly I am the winner. Oh, by the way, let's see that slime glow. Look at that slime. It's glowing in the dark and look at the snowflakes. So beautiful. I win, I win, I win. Not so fast. I haven't even had a chance to make my slime. Let's do this. Okay, Maribel, here we go. Let's pour in your white glue. And let's add some shaving cream. Oh, and can we make it peach? Yes, I can do all of those things. First, let's add shaving cream. Wait, shaving cream, why are you doing that? So I can make fluffy slime. Uh-oh. Uh-oh is right. Fluffy slime is pretty amazing slime. So we mix the shaving cream and the glue together. And once we have this all mixed together, we need to add our color. Mirabelle wanted peach, so we're adding peach. And we just mix this all together. What a beautiful color. We'll just keep mixing and mixing until all the color is mixed in there. And we're almost running out of room. Okay, what do you think, Mirabelle? Do you like this color? Let's add a little bit more. Okay, we can add a little bit more food dye and it will become more vibrant. So here we go. Mixing, mixing, it's already getting darker. Ooh, this is so pretty. And now we just add a little activator, mix, and then add more activator, mix, until we have our slime. So let's start mixing. Okay, now that it's looking pretty slimy, I can put it on the table and start kneading it. Okay, I have been kneading this slime. Stretching this slime. And now it's ready for some mix-ins. Okay, I would love to mix in some purple and silver glitter. Okay, we have purple glitter. And we can just sprinkle it all in here. We have gold glitter too. Let's mix this all in before we add something else. Whoa, I can see the glitter in there. It's getting so sparkly. Let's add some colorful foam balls. Okay, we have some. Lots of colorful foam balls. And we can mix these in here. 
and look at this fluffy, glittery, foamy slime. We can mix everything in here and it is stretchy and fluffy and so beautiful. I hate to say it, but I think you won. Oh, really? You think so? You like my slime? I love it. Well, I love your slime too. I think we're both winners. Aww. You are both winners. And we have one more cool thing to try. That's right, since Mirabelle's slime is so fluffy, we can take this strainer and push it into the slime and look. Oh, that looks so cool. Look at that. That's amazing. Let's try this again. Oh, I can get it out of here. Okay, I got it all out of there. I'm going to leave it just this big puffy ball right here. And now we start smooshing the slime. That looks so cool. Look at it. That was so super fun. Thanks, Carrie Hands. Yeah, we had a blast. Ugh, morning already. I don't feel like getting up. Ugh, where are my glasses? Whoa. My glasses must be around here somewhere. Oh, 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 oh here they are. Oh, no, that's a shoe. May May, look at your room. It's a mess. And look, I found a shoe in the kitchen. Why was there a shoe in the kitchen? Oh, Mom. It was an accident. I'm sorry! It's too early in the morning for me to deal with this! May May, you need to learn to control your emotions better and not let out your red panda. I'm calm. Zen. There, is that better, Mom? Much better, May May. And your glasses are right here on the floor. Oh, yeah, I totally knew that. Thanks, Mom. All right, everyone, now that I can see with my glasses on, come along and follow me on my morning routine. First, I need to go brush my teeth. Come with me to my bathroom. Okay, so first I brush my teeth. Yep, get them nice and clean. Then I brush my hair. I want it to look, oh, extra nice. Oh, my glasses, oh no! Oh, my glasses! May May, you really need to learn to control your inner panda. I'm trying, Mom, I'm trying! Oh, oh. I'm calm, I'm zen. Okay, just relax. Okay. That's better. I'll just put my glasses on and everything is okay. All right, I'm done in the bathroom. I need to make my bed because it's kind of a mess right now. There we go. And now I need to get dressed, but oh, my clothes are all over the floor. They're going to be all wrinkled. I am so frustrated. May May, again? Relax. Okay, I'm calm. I'm zen. <sighs> I'm relaxed. Okay, I just need to iron my clothes real fast. Okay, I'll iron my shirt. Get out all the wrinkles. That's better. Make sure all the pleats in my skirt are perfect. And now I can go ahead and get dressed. All set. Now I just need to get my shoes on. I love my shoes. They're super awesome. Nice. And now before I eat breakfast, I'm going to do a little homework. May May. You didn't finish your homework last night. Mom, of course I did. I'm going to do extra credit work. Oh, okay, Mame. Relax. No more inner panda. You need to learn to control your emotions. I'm trying. I'm zen. There, is that better? Much better, Mame. Okay, go ahead and finish your extra credit work, and then breakfast will be served. Thanks, Mom. Let me get everything I need to do my extra credit work. My notebook, my ruler, my calculator my eraser, another calculator just for fun, stapler, scissors, my other notebook, and my other stapler. I want to do as much extra credit work as I possibly can, and before I get started, I'll put on a little lip balm. All right, time to dive into all this work. Okay, got my extra credit math done, my extra credit English, social studies, science. I'm also doing extra credit in art. I love art. All right, I'm almost done. <laughs> Schoolwork is so easy for me. <laughs> Whoa, that was my tummy. I better go eat breakfast now. May May, before you eat breakfast, did you finish all of your chores? I think so. Nope, you forgot to sweep your room. Oh, okay, I'll sweep. But I'm so hungry and I just want to eat instead. May May, relax. You are out of control with your emotions today. Oh, sorry, Mom. 
Uh, okay, I'm better. I'll sweep. All right, it's sweeping time. Sweep, 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 sweep. Okay, Mimi. For breakfast, you're having yogurt, waffles, fruit, and a smoothie. But I really, really wanted pancakes. Pancakes, pancakes, pancakes. Mimi, I was thinking about letting you go to the concert. You were? Yes, but if you cannot control your inner panda, you cannot go to a concert. Oh! Hum, calm. I'm Zen. I'm sorry, Mom. I don't know what came over me. I'll pick up the food I dropped. It's just school's been extra stressful, and I'm doing so many extracurricular activities and extra credit. Well, Maymay, life is stressful. You need to learn how to relax. How do I learn how to relax? Come with me to the museum. There are special magical doors that may help you learn how to relax. Okay, Mom. I'll give it a try. May May, these magical doors have been handed down by our ancestors to help us learn how to be Zen and to relax and not let out our inner panda. Cool. But why did our ancestors have me, you, and my friends on their doors? Oh no, no, May May. I put those on the doors to see who makes you feel the calmest, the happiest. So that you can picture them and go to that happy spot when you're feeling sad or angry and about to release your inner panda. Oh, and be careful! There's a lot of goo in there. Goo! Pick the door that you think makes you feel the most calm. What person makes you the happiest? I'm assuming it's me. So go ahead and open up that door right now. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll just go down here to mom's door. Open it up and let me grab what's inside of here. My mom. Makes me feel very angry sometimes. Wait, let me cover that up and try that again. My mom makes me feel very sad sometimes. Meme, I did not know I made you feel like this. I love you so much. You're my special, special girl. I know, mom. I love you too. It's just sometimes you do make me angry and sad, but most of the time you make me feel. <laughs> like a happy, happy May May. Aw, thank you, honey. Go ahead and open up the other doors. All right, I'm going for my buddy Miriam. Here we go. Oh, look at that gooey surprise. My friend Miriam makes me feel very, very happy. And check out her goo. So cool, just like her. Okay, May May. I guess she is a good friend to think about when you're feeling a little stressed out. Go ahead and open another door. I'm gonna pick my door and see how I make myself feel. Okay, here we go. Ooh, some orange goo. And how do I feel about myself? Ah! I am so upset that I can't control my emotions all the time. Why can't I just calm down? Ah! I mean, I try really, really hard to be calm. But sometimes I just can't help it. There's too much pressure, too much stress. Remember, think about me when I make you happy. Think about your friend Miriam. Okay, I'm thinking about you both and feeling much better. Okay, let me check another door. How about this time, Priya's door? Ooh, I can already see the goo in there. Okay, just open it up and let's see how Priya makes me feel. Okay, okay, a little bit crazy eyes. Okay. <gasps> Oh, she makes me so happy, and she gives the best hugs. I just want to hug her right back. Oh, she makes me so happy. And her goo, just like Miriam's, is so super cool because she is so super cool. Okay, May May, I'm starting to realize your friends mean an awful lot to you and make you very happy. Let's see how Abby makes you feel. Okay, let's open up this Abby door. Abby is so small but so mighty. Whoa, just looking at her goo is making me happy. So colorful, so much personality, and ah, she makes me so happy. She's so cute and so strong, and full of so much color and personality, just like her goo. And last but not least, May May, how does your May May Panda make you feel? Well, let's see how May Panda makes me feel. Open this right up. Get out the goo. Ooh, look at the cool orange goo. I love it. I love it. I love it. My inner panda makes me feel so, 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 so happy. I 
actually really love my inner panda, and I never, ever want to lose my panda. Plus, you can tell I'm totally cool like my friends, because check out my cool goo. It has so much color and shine and personality. It's super cool and super unique, just like me. Well, my meme, I've learned so much about how me and your friends make you feel, and about how my panda makes me feel. Yes, I'm so happy your panda makes you happy. Me too. And I'm gonna celebrate with the panda dance. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm celebrating with the dance. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, sorry mom. It's okay, carry on. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Best day ever. Woo! Shh. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think I hear an ambulance. Pop boy, pop boy, wake up. The ambulance is here. I'm so excited. Did she say she's excited the ambulance is here? That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. Better go check this out. Punk girl, where are you? I'm down here. Whoosh. Down where? Down here. Down where? Down here. Oh, I see you now. Hey, I totally knew you were down here. Uh, yeah. So where's the ambulance? I hear it coming. I still don't understand why you're so excited about an ambulance. Hey, punk girl. Hey, punk boy. I'm here. Okay, punk boy. We have a special surprise for you today. What is it? What is it? I don't need to go in the ambulance. I'm not hurt. No, no, no. The special surprise is you get to help set up this ambulance. It's brand new. So we have to put stickers on it. You need to help set up the medical equipment. It's going to be pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, where did he go? I'm up here, just kind of checking things out, seeing what I need to do. Punk boy, I'm loving your enthusiasm. I have a list of things we need to get done, okay? Come with me. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, I can't wait to see. Okay, we'll come around to this side of the van and look. There's nothing on there. No stickers. How do people even know it's an ambulance? Our first job is to put the stickers on there. Cool, I'm an expert at stickers. Here we go. First sticker. Boom! Time for a lot more stickers. Boom! 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 Big boom! 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 Back windows! Boom! Boom! Brake lights! Boom! 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 License plate! Bam! More lights! Boom! 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 Other side! Boom! 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 And the front! Boom! Boom! Wow, you did a great job with the stickers. Now I'm going to show you the inside. It's a little messy now, but you're gonna help me spruce it up. Oh, that's okay, I like messes. Let's see the inside. Okay, we just open it up and ta-da! It's a fully functional clinic. Okay, well not fully functional yet. I need a little help setting it up. Whoa, look at all this stuff in here. Hey, what's that stuff over there? Over here we have this bench we can fold down for the people that are waiting to be seen. Let me just get it. It just folded down out of nowhere. Super cool. Oh, look at that. Flowers, a picture. Ooh, an aquarium. Ooh, look at all the fish. Ooh, I feel like I'm in the ocean. <laughs> oh, look, there's a TV up there. Does that pull down? Very observant, punk boy. Let me show you. I need to first pop this up. Okay, there we go. And then I can pop this down. And look, we have a gift store. We have balloons, stuffed animals. And look, we have all kinds of magazines for people to read while they're waiting. <laughs> and if you're a little dude like me, it can also be a bed. Yeah, but we don't want to sleep on the magazines. Come on over here. I have more work for you to do. I was just getting cozy. Whoa, this is a pretty big mess over here. And that's why I need your help. Let's set this up. Okay, let's see. Oh, I see a teddy bear and a balloon. That looks like it should go in the gift shop. Okay, teddy bear right here. Let's get the balloon over there too. Oh yeah, that goes right there. Oh, I wonder if we have flowers for over here. Let me check. Okay, we got these things now, this stuff over here. Oh, flowers, there we go. Okay, and flowers can go right over here. Perfect. Punk boy, the gift shop looks perfect. Okay, come help me set up this bed. I need the wheels for it. Do you see silver wheels somewhere? Silver wheels, let's see. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, yep, right here. Here's one right here and one right here. Okay, we'll just snap them on the bottom like this. Ugh, I could use a little nap. It's pretty comfortable, but it is for the patients. All right, let's finish setting everything up. This thing right here seems a little bouncy. Does it pop up? 
It sure does. Let me get it up. This is where I can stand and check in patients as they come in. I just need, where is my checklist? I think maybe you're looking for this. Here you go. Whoop. Oh no. Get back up there. There. There's your clipboard with your checklist of all the people's names who will be checking in. Ah, yes. Thank you, punk boy. Oh, we have a few more things. Oh, no, to set up. Let me go get that. Oh, 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 oh. You know, I think I'm just gonna hold on to this. It just does not wanna stay right up there. Okay, let's set some things up. When I see my patients, sometimes I need a bright light so I can examine them even closer. Here's our light. We need to snap it on down here. And then I can just twist it right up here wherever I need it. And here's my medical bag. I need to put my medical equipment in here. Okay, look at that in there. Okay, this in here. Okay, and this in here. And in we go. All right, I'll just close it up and I keep it close to the bed so I can find my supplies real quickly when I need them. Hey, look at the totally cool earbuds I found. Yeah, wait, I don't hear any rocking music. This thing, hello, is it on? Hello, why isn't it working? Oh, punk boy, those aren't earbuds or headphones. It's a stethoscope. I use it to listen to people's heart. Here, listen. Whoa, that sounds just like a heart. Well, that's what it is. You just listen to my heart. Oh, that's really cool. Uh, I think I'm gonna need that though. Oh yeah, here you go. Okay, over here is where I keep all the medicine. We have some lollipops for kids, cotton balls, and our soap dispensers. Can you help me set up the soap dispensers? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see. First I'll put the yellow one up here. Okay, looks good. Oh no, I knocked the red one in the sink. Oh, let me go get it. Okay, and they're in place now. Looks like everything's almost all set. Hey, what's this over here? Let's see, I bet I can pop this up. Whoa, with my mohawk. Whoa, crutches, no way. Okay, I got one crutch, the other crutch, whoa. Oh, bug boy, are you all right? Are you going to be my first patient? Oh, I'm okay. Uh, those crutches are for adults, so maybe don't play with them. Okay, I think I learned my lesson. But doc, there was something I was kind of curious about. What's this big silver thing? Oh yeah, this is really cool, let me show you. So we open it up. Whoa, an x-ray machine? That's right, we can read x-rays on here and watch. An eye chart, whoa, I just went to the eye doctor the other day. Wait, why am I not wearing my glasses? Haha, <laughs> oh, it's so cool. Yep, we pretty much have it all at our clinic. And guess what? What? You get to assist me with my first patients. Oh, when are we gonna do that? In the next show. Oh, so cool. But we still have one last thing to do. Hop in the chair. Okay, but I don't want to take any medicine. Ugh. Da, 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 da. Well, that's good because you don't need any medicine. I'm just going to take your blood pressure. You're going to take my blood? Whoop, I'm out of here. No, 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 come back. Not your blood, your blood pressure. I just wrap this little thing around your arm, squeeze a little pump, and then I know what your blood pressure is. Okay, you're not taking any blood. Go for it, Doc. Okay, we just wrap this around your arm. Oh, that doesn't hurt at all. And then we squeeze a little pump. Oh, and your blood pressure is perfect.